Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is longest common prefix in an array. The question states that given an array of n strings, find the longest common prefix among all strings present in the array. And in case if there is no common prefix among the strings, then we need to return minus one. So a prefix is a substring whose beginning is at the starting index of the string. For example, uh, for the string geeks for geeks, g g e g double e and geek can be considered as the prefix. So let's have a look at the examples. In example one, the array size is four and the strings are geeks for geeks, geeks, geek and geezer. So among all the strings, the longest common prefix is g double e. In case of example two, the array size is two and the strings are hello and world. So as we can see that there is no common prefix among both the strings. Therefore, we return minus one as our output. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where the array size is four and the strings are geeks for geeks, geeks, geek and geezer. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm and we also declare few variables named the count, flag and min and initialize them with zero, zero and 1000. So we begin our algorithm by traversing the array or the strings and at each traversal we store the length of the string in a variable called length and if the value of length is less than min then we update the value of min as length and we store that particular string in a new string namely s. We do the same operations for the string geeks and we continue this process until we find a minimum string. So finally, we have got our minimum string as geek whose size is four. So we come out of this for loop and we run another for loop from i is equal to zero to min, which is for all the characters of the string s. And there is a nested for loop from j is equal to zero to n, which is to traverse all the strings of the array a. And at each traversal, we check whether if a of j i is not equal to s of i. So first we check whether if the first character of s is not equal to the first character of a of zero. But this both characters are same. Therefore, we increment j. Now j points to the second string. So again, we check the first characters of both the strings, which is s and a of one. Again, both of these are equal. Therefore, we continue this process until we reach the string a of three. And finally, we check whether if the value of flag is one, since the value of flag is zero, therefore we move further and update the value of count as count plus plus, which is one and increment i. Now i points to the second character of the string s, which is e, as well as again, we traverse the strings in the array and check whether if the second character of the string s is equal to the second character of the string a of zero. Since both these characters are equal, therefore we update the value of j. Now j points to the second string. Again, both these characters are same. So again, we continue until we reach the end string, which is a of three. And again, we check whether if the value of flag is equal to one. Since the value of flag is zero, therefore we move further and update the value of count as count plus plus. And again, increment i. Now i represents the third character of the string s which is e and for every other strings in the array a we compare with the value of s of 2. Since we get uh, all the characters are equal to the value of s of 2 therefore again we check whether if flag is equal to 1 it is not 1 so we continue further and update the value of count as 3. So the value of count represents the length of the longest common prefix so which is 3 un until now so again we increment i now i represents the character k in the string s and we compare the fourth character of every string with that of the fourth character of s so all these characters are equal so for the string a of 3 we get s of 3 is not equal to uh, the th fourth character of a of 3 therefore we update the value of flag as 1 and we break out of the inner for loop 
and then we check whether if the value of flag is 1 which is true therefore we break out of the outer for loop as well and then we check whether if the value of count is 0 which is false so we are in a else part and we return the substring of s from 0 up to the count number of elements therefore we return g double e as our longest common prefix so now let's have a look at our actual code the driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function longest common prefix whose arguments are the array of strings a and the size of the array which is n so as we have seen in the explanation part we have declared few variables namely count flag and min as well as we have created another string namely s so the first for loop is to traverse all the strings of the array a and store the length of that particular string in the variable length and compare it with min if it is less than min then we update the value of min as length as well as we store that particular string in a newly created string s the next for loop is from i is equal to 0 to min uh, which is used to traverse all the characters of a minimum string and there is a nested for loop where we traverse each string and at each traversal we check whether if that particular character of that string is equal to the particular character of a minimum string and in case if both these characters are not equal then we update the value of flag as 1 and break out of the inner for loop then after the for loop we have another if condition where we check whether if the value of flag is 1 and if so we break out of the outer for loop and after the if condition we increment the value of count so the value of count represents the length of the longest common prefix and after the for loop we check whether if the value of count is 0 which is there is no common prefix among the strings if so we return minus 1 else we return the substring of a minimum string from 0 up to count number of elements so we can compile a code now the code compiles fine so we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you